What's up, boys and girls? Sweetie here. I am on the uh, Pixelotarium Feed the Beast Ultimate server. I'm just sitting here contemplating what to do. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what else to do. Um, I did fix this up a little bit. Uh, I need to replace that with uh, this uh, mossy stone. But if we come underneath. Um, oh, I don't want to collect that. I want my turtle to collect that. Come on. Um, so I, I changed this up a little bit. I got uh, my relays. They're pointing in at a uh, pneumatic tube inside. And then I got a little cover on it so that it uh, gives them a nice place to stand on. And it seems to be working very well, at least so far. I moved some stuff. I put all that chest and junk and stuff underneath here. Um, you know, I can't open that one because there's something on top of it. But you can still open the uh, ender chests. I don't know why that is, but uh, yeah, I got my restrictor tube here, so... Um, yeah, everything seems to be working very well. Very well indeed. Um, oh, I, I think I need to make something to... Uh, uh, you know, for my, my bees. Oh, I can, I can talk about that. Let's go. Let's go talk about my bees real quick. Um, you know, the uh, last episode I made these uh, glowering drones. Those don't stack, do they? No, they don't. Okay. Um, anyhow, um, yeah, it, uh, I thought that when you use the serums, it only changed the uh, the main you know, because these were uh, my super rocky bees or whatever. So, rock, fast, longest life. Uh, they're just rocky. And it was normal, normal, plus, plus uh, both two. And all this good stuff. Uh, I guess I found out that uh, when you change the uh, species, it changes the uh, climate and humidity. So, yeah, these weren't... Um, working because they were only both two, right? And then it switched it to hellish and arid, so um, it wasn't enough to be uh, to work in the range that we uh, are in, so. But it's it's working now, so that's, it's good, it's all good. Let's I think this will work now. Let me put these in, because I already did some. There's a couple right here. I'm just going to go ahead and do two of them. Man, I got a lot of bees. Uh, don't need you. I'll go like that and like that. Alright. So, I changed this area up a little bit. Made it a little bit nicer looking. Um, I got a half slab uh, on the top and Stone brick on the bottom, it changes this up a little bit. Uh, still collecting tons and tons of books. Lots of soul stealer. Jeez, disjunction. Protection three. And then when the uh, the next when they we start actually using the uh, 1.5, we'll actually be able to use uh, uh huh tesseract. Well, oh yeah books. I just had to make sure that that was on the right setting. Uh huh. huh. And yeah. Alright. Um, but yeah, when we uh, actually can use 1.5 we'll be able to enchant these, um, these lower level books into larger books. You know, the uh, like the potency twos. We can bring into 
make potency three. Potency threes can be made into potency four if there is such a thing. I don't know for sure. Um, thorns one can be you know combined to thorns two. These repairs and whatnot. They all can be upgraded to their maximum level and. Maybe there'd be a way to do that automatically. I'm not sure. But, um, yeah, everything seems to be working very well. Um, I'm kind of thinking about doing some breeding, some tree breeding. And, uh, seeing if it will work for these, these guys. Um,. You know, if uh, I was watching Ethos um, video the other day, and um, apparently with his boar that he's using for his tree farm, the uh, the mutated trees that he has don't work the same, right? So the the boar is like destroying and you don't get any any extra um, any extra saplings from it and yeah I'd really like to whoa come back up here really like to know if uh, these guys would would work and then uh, maybe you could you know, use my um, use my setup or use the Steve carts whatever I mean, he is doing all the little train stuff anyway. You know, these aren't much different than the trains. But, we'll see. Um, get out of this turtle. I think it uh, adds some symmetry to the look. Um, plus, it makes it easier for me to... Okay, maybe not. There we go. <laughs> makes it easier for me to to click on them. Now I can uh, reach them all. I don't have a piece of glass in my way. A little, little bit smaller hitbox. Um, I've actually cut this down to just these uh, six turtles actually tacking. And uh, I think I could probably get away with, you know, two or four of them attacking because uh, because of this uh, bee right here with uh, aggressive on it. Brings them down enough that uh, it's pretty quick to to kill them. See, they're not a problem. Enderman damage in the background there. Um, oh yeah, I, uh, we'll go over to, to Gerbo's place. I want to show you what I did. Well, I'll tell you what I did. Um, well, first we'll go look at my my uh, Ender Bowl supply. Uh, 530 stacks. Um, I went over there. I took a, a melee turtle and some um, of the... Oh, what is that? The conveyor belt stuff. This stuff here. And uh, I went over there, and I set up my little XP melee turtle. Uh, I just did one. Oh, we're going to turn this off just for a little bit. Alright. So yeah, over top of this, about... Uh, about at this height, I guess. I set up uh, my uh, XP turtle and uh, made a uh, uh, probably a three by three area and uh, used the uh, conveyor belt to uh, divert all anything that lands on it to the turtle. Set up my uh, program along with the uh, the uh, suck fun function so it'll just suck up anything that uh, that's in its way um, 
and it was working great. <clears throat> Excuse me. It was working great, and then, uh, I was doing some homework, came back, and, uh, you know, I wasn't getting any, um, any of the ender balls. Came back, and I guess this chunk isn't loaded right here. Then there's actually two chunks, like divides, like right here. Um, so I went ahead and brought my chunk loader over, loaded this, these chunks here, left it here overnight, just collecting uh, XP and and Ender balls, and uh, I came back today, and this whole area was just full of Endermen. It was like we were in the end. There was that many Endermen just sitting around. All right, hold on a sec. All right, I'm back. Had a uh, had to do a little coffin, but uh, yeah, so. There were Endermen everywhere. And, uh, yeah, I, uh, I, uh, took it down and they've since dissipated, but there were a lot of them, that's for sure. And, uh, of course, I was having trouble getting them to, um, you know, down to the right. Uh, hit points or whatever and the reason is is if you look um, like I'm not sure where the center of them is or if they spawn at the feet level um, I think it's at the feet level that's how all the other ones work but um, so like they can spawn their feet can spawn here here or here at this level and um, it looks like turbo can actually raise this up one or bring that down one whichever um, because they are three high but uh, yeah so their feet can either be here or here or here so if their feet are down here they fall less distance than if they're here or you know at this level so when you set this up like this like how did he I thought they couldn't teleport when they uh, they were falling did you see that it's like as he was falling he teleported over to over to here I didn't think they could do that huh Anyhow, yeah, so you set it up, and if you have a, a fall where you just want them to get damaged, um, to damage these guys enough up at this top level, when they spawn up here, um, these guys are going to die. You know, and so will these guys. So only these guys will um, be the ones that aren't dying. But, uh, yeah, I don't know how well it would work. I mean, I don't know if it would work like this kind of system for the Enderman. D see that? You see that? Did he teleport? Oh, stupid Enderman. Making noise in my ear. I kind of want to just... Look, he teleported. I want to sit and watch for a second. Let's see if we can see them teleport again. Because I, I thought they couldn't teleport when they were falling. I'm going to keep moving so I stay out of the where it spawns the sound. Um... So they're going down, going down. Or maybe it's other ones that are like teleporting to here that are like spawning underground maybe. Maybe that's what it, what it is. 
and it just looks like no do you see that he just teleported that was definitely teleport teleportation there hmm yeah he just did it too do you see that I think there was another one. Hmm. Yeah, I thought they weren't supposed to be able to teleport when they, uh, when they were, that, that was definitely teleporting. Did you see that? He was here and he went right down there. Um, I don't know if it would work like this where you could, like, channel them. Uh, into an area and then have them fall because then once once you do that then they're all at the same height and uh, you can really control <sighs> stupid sound you can really control how um, how much they uh, how much damage they receive but you know, I don't know how well it would work for the Enderman because they can you know, once they spawn in here, they could be uh, forced over and then teleport away. Um, and I don't know how well that would work. I guess I could make my own shard and test it out, but um, yeah, I don't really feel like it. <laughs> anyway, we'll get out of here. Gotta get into this mistcraft stuff. You know, um, I got so much stuff, you know, that it, I'm kind of running out of other things to do. Um, uh, you know, I don't, I got my, my power system all sorted. Uh, I'm enchanting books like crazy. Um, oh, do, do they not have enough? room or what's going on here That's potato oh are these potatoes just from the from the guys whoa that is a ton of potatoes I thought that there you know he uh, he set up a, a little potato farm maybe he did hold on we'll go over here he has a double-decker uh, tree farm here. Man, I wish they would get all these blocks. No, nope, just a little wheat farm over here. Yeah. His, uh... His little turtle tree farm. What else we got? Does this thing work? I just wonder why he's not using these. No, there's some sulfur goo. <laughs> I thought maybe it was because the uh, not collecting any more sulfur goo. There's some there. Ooh, that thing's full. Um, where does turtle go? He must have used it somewhere else. Uh, so, anyhow, um, yeah, that must all just be from from killing the mobs. Oh, and we tested this out the other day. He was gonna make another one of these anyway. Oops, I can't let. Ooh, sorry, Gerbo. Didn't mean to do that. I'll fix it. Uh, where did it go? Redwood plant. Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah, I was wondering if you could feed these boilers with uh, one tesseract, right? Um, because he has a tesseract hooked up to his uh, his biofuel, right? And I was wondering if he could send uh, the same 
you know, the water to the same sending um, tesseract or receiving tesseract. So this one is sending water to the same frequency as uh, the one that's sending the uh, biofuel, right? I almost lost my hand again. Uh, so it's keeping them all, f you know, filled up with just the one tesseract hooked up to, you know, that's touching. I don't know if you'd be able to hook up, um, you know, the uh, the uh, liquiduct to it or not. See if it would, you know, if that would work. But this seems to be working great. Look at that. Staying full of biofuel, staying full of water, and it's you know, all done with a single single connection. Very cool. Uh, he's expanded on this a little bit. <laughs> um, yeah, because he, he doesn't produce quite enough apples to uh, run this, uh, this contraption by itself. So he has one that's set up here with water as well, so. Very cool. I think these are light blocks from uh, Zycraft. Set up very nicely looking. Um, as you can see, he really liked my my design there. Look at that. It's very cool. I think that's another item tesseract or liquid tesseract there. And. Uh, you don't remember it's a uh, item tesseract uh, energy tesseract item tesseract liquid tesseract liquid tesseract and liquid tesseract and uh, he could if you wanted to move this liquid tesseract like up top above the item tesseract just like this and then have uh, you know the same kind of thing just coming down I think that look kind of cool too Uh, yeah, that, I think that'll look alright. Hmm. Anyhow. Yep, set up his little room. What is this? What are these? Oh, igneous extruders. So they are putting cobblestone into this, I guess. Hmm. And where that's going, I don't know. Actually, let's poke around and see if we can find the door. Maybe there's a door over here. Oh, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, what do we got back here? Ah, yes. We're getting the... Uh, we're pulling out the wheat, looks like. Let me see. What, what am I doing here? Okay, we have water. There. That's aqueous accumulator. That looks like an item tesseract. This is a relay. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, we have a timer here. A filter. And then those go to... Yeah, okay, I see. Uh, so he's pumping up from here. So okay, wait, 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 wait. All right, this is pulling out the the wheat, and can't really see anything else. Doesn't look like. Oh, I see. I think I see. <laughs> oh, okay, there it is. Down there. Looks like a emerald pipe. So that's pulling out the stuff. And then that must go to over here. I see. Ah, I see. 
and what is the timer set? Whoa, 1100 seconds. That's a long freaking time. Um, but that definitely lets this thing clear out because this, this is pulling out a stack, puts a stack in every 1100 seconds. I see. Alrighty. Any more? Nope. Anything back here? Nothing. Hmm. All right. He likes his hidden doors. Don't get me wrong. I like my hidden door as well. All right. So. Um, just kind of do a little look, look around, see, and where does this go? Nowhere. Yeah, look at all these books, or all these pages. No weather, noon, zero length, woodland yellow. Yeah, I have no idea how any of this stuff works, so. Accelerated. Cloud, coal ore. Cyan crystal. Uh, we still need to make a uh, ender. <coughs> uh, ender, using the ender page. See if they, uh, if it creates, um, uh, ender bee hives. Um, I think that's it. You know, I'm gonna go ahead and end the episode. I got, I got nothing. Just wandering around aimlessly, not sure what to do. Uh, oh, I set up a mailbox just in case Turbo wants to send me some mail. <coughs> but um, of course that means that I'll have to uh, set up a stamp selling station maybe I, maybe we should do that like uh, oh that thing's so awesome um, is that thing full too yep totally full of um yeah, maybe we could set up a uh, stamp selling station, right? So I'll craft the stamps because I have the, the material and then everybody else on the server has to buy stamps from me. <laughs> and I need, I think I need this Thomium ingots. Cause I, I got everything else. I don't know what else I would need. Got plenty of everything. 80 stacks, mossy stone. Hmm. Yeah, so. <coughs> pardon me. Um, clearing my throat all the time, but. Um, what, what, what have we got in here? Excited bees. Excited species. I got... I now have the lightning effect. Which is pretty cool and pretty evil at the same time. Um, you know, from a distance, it looks really cool because uh, the uh, bees are just, you know, raining lightning down. <coughs> Alright, hold on a second. I'm back. Um, yeah, the lightning effect's pretty cool because the uh, lightning is coming down and it's striking that same area all the time. It's very cool looking, but you know it's kind of evil and that you don't want to be next to it because it'll it will uh, electrocute you, and you also don't want to be uh, like uh, you don't want to do it near anybody's wooden houses or whatever unless you are trying to be evil 
This is something else I was trying to do. I was trying to set up automation to this, but you know, there's no there's no good setting on here for you know, when brewing done or something like that. You know, when brewing is complete, because then it would be easy uh, to put uh, you know, so you'd have a, uh, a hopper with nether wart on top of this guy and now um, you know and it'd be pumping in uh, filled potions you know, or filled bottles rather and then as soon as the uh, you know brewing is complete it would pull the awkward potions out then those could go into um, the next the next brewing stand, which go into the next brewing stand to make, you know, all your uh, potions, you know, whichever you may need. But unfortunately, there's not a good setting on these gates. And I think that a uh, filter or transposer would pull stuff out pretty quickly as well. It, we can try that real quick, I think. I need a I need a uh, piston though. Okay, piston. Uh huh. Need some redstone and some cobble. And I think the only thing that I'm missing in this thing is the cobble. Yes. All right. So cobble, 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 cobble. Uh, redstone. Wood, wood, oops, wrong spot, and there it is, transposer, and we can make a button, button will work, alright, so, we set that up here, Uh huh. Which it does what you'd expect it to do, but um, I mean, I guess that would work. You'd have to time it just right, though, and and have it cycle three times. Um. Let me see. Let me make some. Bottles. I have three spaces in my inventory. One, two, three. Come on down. And uh, we'll get. Oh. I only need one. So, eh. Like that, like that, like that, and if we push this, yep. So we, it could work, and you'd have to time it just right so that when this is done, so bam, it gets done, bam, bam, bam. Right? And then that would go into the next one next uh, brewing stand and then uh, that would have a hopper on top with uh, whatever your next ingredient you wanted hmm I don't know that's that's a lot of precise timing and getting triple pulse and everything all right, let me go ahead and end the episode. Um, like it if you like it, dislike if you didn't like it. Let me know what you liked or didn't like about it in the comments. Um, let me know anything else you want me to know in the comments. And uh, hope you enjoyed the episode. Next time we'll do something fun. Oh, yes, I got some charmed beans. Charmed drones. 
Oh yeah. Perfect. Beautiful. They are beautiful. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Got excited there. Um, so yeah. Um, all that good stuff. And then uh, until next time, I'm out of here.